Hi, I'm Steve Kirtler, the Product Safety Manager at Electrical Safety First, and I'm going to be talking about the UK 13 amp three pin plug and how to ensure that you connect your appliances safely to the electrical supply. Now, there are quite a few different types of uh, plugs that you might find in your home. Uh, just to give you some examples of the different types that you might see, here's one that would be used for a connection of lighting, safe floor or table lamps to a separate circuit within your electrical installation. So you can switch those on and off independently. Another type of plug is one that would be uh, connected to say a shaver and connected into an isolation uh, socket outlet, perhaps in a bathroom. But by far the most common type of plug that will be fitted to appliances in your home will be the UK three pin plug. And this also comes in various different designs. This one is a rewirable plug that can be changed if the plug gets damaged in some way and wired back onto an appliance lead. This type of plug, very similar again, but it's uh, molded so it can't be replaced. Uh, just the plug itself, the whole lead and the plug set would need to be replaced if there was a problem or damage that occurred to that. So just looking a bit more in detail at the design of the plug, so we have three pins, the top pin being the longest pin is the earth pin and the two pins lower down with insulated sleeving on are the two live pins. In some cases, you might find that the earth pin is not metal, it's plastic and it's only used to operate and release the shutters on the socket. And that's because the appliance that this is connected to doesn't require an earth, it uses protection via double or reinforced insulation. All of the three pin plugs are fitted with a fuse, a fuse either at 13 amps or three amps rating, depending on the rating of the appliance and the size of the lead. And so the reason that the UK plug and socket system is considered to be one of the safest in the world is that the socket outlet has openings that are shuttered where the live pins are inserted. And the only way that these shutters can be released is with the insertion of either the earth pin into the socket outlet or the simultaneous insertion of the two live pins pushing against the shutter. Or in some cases, it requires all three pins to be inserted into the socket before the shutters will open up and allow the connection of the plug. So on the plug itself, there are some markings which are a requirement of the safety standard and also the approvals process for this plug. So it's useful to know the kind of markings that you'd be looking for on a 13 amp plug. So there will always be a manufacturer's name or trademark there will be the British Standard 1363 marked on there, and that's the manufacturer's declaration that the plug meets the safety standard for the plugs. There'll be the rated voltage. On a rewirable plug, the terminals will be marked live neutral on earth on the plug itself. For non-rewirable plugs, the rated current of the fuse link that's fitted in the plug will be marked on the body of the plug itself. And for plugs for electric vehicles, after the British Standard 1363, there will be an EV symbol marked on the plug as well. For all of the different types of variations of plugs, there will be the approval or license mark that will be a number and something like BSI kite mark or the ASTA approval mark. So it's a requirement of UK safety regulations that all appliances supplied in the UK are fitted with a UK plug. For more information, visit our website at electricalsafetyfirst.org.uk.